and how do you do so I'm still working on my volume three here but I said I was gonna pair it with some whiskey I uh, bought this little bottle of Jim Beam Devil's Cut yesterday for 99 cents what a bargain is Devil's Cut I've had several times before it's not the smoothest of whiskeys but it's very bold and I just like the bold character of it it generally runs between 20 to 25 dollars a bottle in my neck of the woods when I can pick up a little one like this for 99 cents I snap them up mm. so I'm using it on my whiskey ball which the damn thing busted on me when I put it in the glass it's happened a couple times to me I don't know I guess there, I should have bought a better mold it works most of the time but it has busted on me a couple times and it irritates me when it does it but no sense crying over broken broken ice anyway so I've got two half moons instead of one one uh, globe in there so so I'm gonna get more meltage than I want oh, it's very nice it is a whiskey that lends itself well to chilling because it can be calmed down a little bit a little bit of water to this particular whiskey does help it uh, you can cocktail it or, or highball it if you want. Um, as you know, whatever your tastes are in a mood for. Um, I've, I've kind of gotten to where I'm, I drink mostly knee or, or rocks upon occasion. Uh, every once in a while I'll have a cocktail, uh, but I'm not a huge cocktail guy. I'm not a fan of sweet cocktails. So uh, every great once in a while I'll have a manhattan and every greater once in a while i'll have an old-fashioned but most people tend to make an old-fashioned a little sweeter than i like so i don't tend to order them out but i do enjoy a manhattan i gotta admit though i, I always prefer when i make them at home because i make them to my particular set of taste buds but i don't dig fruit juice uh mixes uh, I don't want to drink a cocktail that tastes like punch because I want to enjoy the whiskey I want to feel the whiskey which is primarily why I drink Nita Rocks it's a nice whiskey it may not be as developed as some but like I said it is big and bold and uh, and that, that's kind of what I personally like in a whiskey uh, you, the oak character from the Devil's Cut is just gorgeous though And because it is such a big brash whiskey, it really pairs well with this rye wine, <laughs> this volume three, this rye wine Asian rye barrels, because the this has some big bold oaky character. While this has some sweetness to it, some sweet and spicy going on, it really helps. And I am one of those guys that I do enjoy drinking beer and whiskey together, especially in the fall when I have a, a general a beer like this in the fall paired with a whiskey like this. It, it, it To me it's just a nice combo to go back and forth to have a sip of whiskey and have a drink of beer. But not everybody likes it. I've even had some people get their panties in a wad and leave some nasty comments on some of my videos when I've done it. You know, I mean, my point of view is if you don't like something, don't drink it, but don't be nasty. I never, I never have given anybody a thumbs down on any of their videos, nor have I left any negative comments. Everybody has a right to whatever they taste. You know, it's not up to me to say you're wrong. You know, taste what you want, drink what you want. If I don't want to have that particular you know beer or mixed drink then I'm not gonna have it but for me to criticize you for having it your way seems a little childish to me that's why I don't thumbs down anybody's video and I don't leave negative remarks if I don't have anything nice to say I don't see anything at all just like my mom and dad brought me up to be you know it's funny as you, you hear so much about political correctness these days people say well political correctness is the downfall of society and I think the problem with that with that philosophy is that a lot of people use that of it as an excuse to not be polite there's a difference between being polite and being politically correct. And I think a lot of people that have issues with political correctness have issues with being polite. They just don't want to be polite. They want to be as nasty as they want to be, and they don't want to be criticized for it. And that's my problem with that particular philosophy. And this is what happens when I drink a beer like this, and I pair it with a whiskey like this, as I start philosophizing. <laughs> <laughs> Which, if you've ever been in a pub for any length of time, this is what happens. You know, you have these pub conversations that get deep, man. And as you know, every world's problem can be solved about three hours into a pub. When you're there with a group of friends, you're solving everything. About two to three hours in, you know, 
six beers or a few cocktails in, you've got everything licked. The trouble is, by morning, you can't remember any of those solutions. But, so I, I put them down on video, so maybe I can remember or find a way to implement them at some point. Flies are just about to drive me freaking nuts right about now, though, so I'm going to take my raggedy keister inside. I'm time to beer whisper having some devil's cut on two half moons. <laughs> I'm finishing up my... Volume 3, and we'll talk to you later.